V8 bowler. Hot wheels. There we go. Oh, dear. oh, hi, I'm Adam C, and welcome. No, 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 other, other way. Down. Welcome to my stress. Oh, come on, go down, gun down. That was a GT3. We are heading to Brooklands for a collecting cars meet. And in fact, why don't I just capture cars arriving? It's not a super run. Got a Monaro as well in yellow. What? Why did that came and sound like a V8? Someone's been making. No oh, it's the Abar. Oh my, why are you running? He's running from a pram! Oh look, there's another Supra Mark V, this one in a more standard yellow. Well, this was meant to be for like top-end supercars and classics, but uh, we've had a lot of JDM so far. And a bus. I think I prefer sitting down, you get all the spots on the 8 super fast, going past super slowly. And a huge shout out to Toad, username Dotty2022M, for being one of my biggest and most loyal fans on my mission to get a white chaser. Maybe I should. So, let's go in ourselves, entering the slip road into Mercedes-Benz World. So, on the right we have the entrance to Mercedes-Benz World, and on the left we have this collection of cars. There are a lot. I mean, it's pretty good. We've got an 812 Superfast in front and a C63 Black Series behind and a lot of colors to the sides. So here I am parked up and straight away we have some American royalty, the C7 Z06 parking up next to me. Or Z06 as they incorrectly say. <laughs> This whole concrete patch is being taken up by performance cars everywhere. We've even got a lineup of Porsches, including the Porsche 675 LT over there in the middle. And further down here, we have this Mini, which gives us a chance to play a game of what's inside your car. But this time, I mean in less of a literal sense, because I am inside this Mini. But what gets you truly inside a car is Carly, who have sponsored this video. Carly plugs into your car's OBD and is compatible for a whole range of vehicles. And it gives you any hidden information about the car as well as the option to customize it in a very unique way. So simply plug it into the car's OBD port and twinned with the Carly app it will tell you everything you may not originally know. So this car's health is very bad. They have found 37 issues within the car relating to the engine, the air conditioning, the immobilizer and it can give you all the information that you could ever need about all of these issues and when they occurred in the car's history. It also has a used car check function that allows you to find all the information from its previous life. You can search its VIN, you can search the mileage for any fraud, average speed, driving profile data as well, and that's not the only thing that the app has on offer. You can also go deeper into the car system and code various things to customise them, where it be the lights, how long they stay on for, there are honestly so many items that you'll be able to change. These are all things that many people don't know that they can change by going into their car using Carly, so if you want to try it out for yourself with your model, as I said there are hundreds of car models that this works with, then just use the link in the video's description and you'll get 15% off your purchase. But there's one car in particular that I really want to show you so I'm going to walk down there. Beyond the collection of Porsches, I don't think I've seen this many Porsches in quite a while. All sorts as well. I'm liking the 996 here in like a Aston Martin green. And V8 YFU. This Porsche Cayman apparently has an LS shoehorned into the middle. You can see there's a bit more of a bulge than maybe originally. Edition LS 6.2. It's a 6.2 litre V8 LS in the Cayman. The GT40 has just pulled in next to the DBS Superleggera yeah. and next door we have the Morgan showing off the V8 and then we have a bowler. Don't often get to see one of these especially driving on the road and then the car that I wanted to show you which is this Volkswagen Beetle RSI. So it's a Beetle with a V6 or VR6 and more bulbous arches and I don't think I've actually ever seen one before. I can't remember having seen one before. I've definitely got like a Hot Wheels toy of this and this is one of only maybe 
three in the country, if that. So you've got all sorts of carbon fibre inside as well on the dash as well as that. We've got the orange Recaro's six-speed manual gearbox. And then as with any limited run car, we have the plaque in the middle. This is number 23 of 250 that were made. Most of them are in Germany, so to see one in this country is incredibly rare and it's been getting a lot of attention at the front of the show. The nice spoiler on the back as well. And just down from the Beetle, we've got this Rolls-Royce Silver Cloud 3 that we were once told was once owned by Her Majesty the Queen. And there's a deafeningly loud, deafeningly, deafeningly loud Audi. That was crazy. It's silent now. I think the Audi is gonna. No. Yeah, the Audi. Yeah. We've got the silent McLaren Arturo running in on electric motors rather than its V6. Listen to the silence. <laughs> Yes, of course, I'm going to be attracted towards this bare aluminium bodied DB replica AC Cobra sounding immense. With the golf coloured GT40 as well. So you can see the entire meat from the road, and rather sneakily, we can actually see a 300 SL. I think that's the AMG edition, so it's got the AMG wheels and engine. There's an SLR that's just about to be uncovered by the CLS shooting brake. There it is. There's three, four Maybachs, the S600, two SLRs. There's the Roadster just over there. Well, I don't think we're strictly allowed to go see it, so we'll go this way. Basically, I was told that the SLRs are customer cars of Mercedes Benz World. They don't really want people going up to them and taking pictures and filming, so we got them from afar. Oh, we've also got the bowl of wildcat leaving. Some more V8 pops and bangs. Oh, yes. Here is the LS Porsche Cayman. He's been popping away. Hopefully, we can hear a bit more of it now. Fantastic. And now a lineup of colourful McLarens leaving together. And next we have quite a loud 991 GT3. Next up we've got the Morgan departing. This is the quirky looking McLaren GT. That echoed off that and him. It echoed off his chest. It's bright orange, it will make some noise. Fact. So we've got the yellow AMG sounding fantastic. And the GT3 RS. And from one RS Beetle to another RS Beetle. The Beetle RSI. See, we've got a Dodge Charger and a Subaru behind that. I think the general theme is M3 and Porsche 911. He's got the matching to the car. Ah, oh, the slippery winter's morning. I didn't see this in there. We've got the Mark 1 Focus RS. Single turbo BMW M4. This should sound immense. Listen to this. Now 
Marty McSnout face, the new BMW, and a Saab with a similar aesthetic. And a Tesla which we shall skip to film the C63 Black Series. We've got the S4 Avant. We've got some 996s with a DVS Superleggera in the middle. Taking care of the GT3. There goes the DBS. Ladies. Now we have one of four Boxster Spiders at the meets today. And one of two Mark V Supras. This one in an olive satin green. Oh, the SR Roadster's on the move. Oh, we can film it now. What a beautiful car. The Queen looking a bit more masculine than she used to do. So we've got the 964 Carrera 4. There's a Dodge Viper about to come, very loud one. We've got some Seats S15 as well, and an EP3. Uh, it's a bit more standard content now. Righty-ho. There you go, you've got the 350Z, and then we have the Dodge Viper GTS Final Edition. Well, Chris Harris has made his arrival in a GC3 Touring. There he is, making a grand arrival. <laughs> we were like, I'm sure he's got one of those. And yes, that is that is him. It's good, but it's not quite NSV8 good. We've got the Rootmaster doing a tour of Brooklyn. Oh, there's a yellow Mustang, guys. I need to warn him. There's a Mustang. No, be careful. You might <laughs> The Z4's even getting out of the way. He knows, right? I think we're safe. Oh, this RS4 seems happy with the throttle. A bit of acceleration. Liquid yellow on the exige. A Cobra. There we go. Let's hear this. I think it's a DV replica. Aluminium bodied Cobra. Chris Harris is at the gates telling everyone to slow down and behave upon their departure. Let's see how many people listen to him. So, the Cayman is being a bit noisy. What about the RS? Yeah, they're being sensible. They are listening to Mr. Harris and his Top Gear advice. We have the Golf Liveries GT40 next. Oh, I'm loving that. his advice to not go into top gear, to not use speed and performance. <laughs> Chris Harris leaving in his GT3 touring. So I doubt he'll do the send in his GT3. There we go. Leaving the show nice and calmly as he should do. We have an XFRS doing probably the opposite of what he wants. Oh dear. I honestly thought he was going to do like a smoky burnout. Okay. What about the M1 something I? The McLaren Artura making use of its electric motors. Who's going to be the more noisy one, I wonder? Brace yourselves! Oh, you got the downshift. Oh! <laughs> Bit slippery for the uh, 
E39. In the distance, we can hear revolutions of a V8 from one of the E92 M3s. This is straight pipes from the manifolds all the way back. Brace your ears for this one, guys. <laughs> <laughs> but I think that was pretty much that from the collecting cars meet at Mercedes-Benz World. So we've got a Audi with broken suspension behind us and not a lot are left in the meet. So we've still got my car with the roof down, shining away. It didn't get too dirty. I've actually cleaned it for today. So I hope you enjoyed that video. Go follow me on Instagram for all the updates and highlights about these meets that I go to. But for now, thanks for watching.